Hey, hey guys. guys, it's M and K Beauty, and um, we just created. We did a get ready with me, and we created these looks. Very um, bold. And if you guys want to see how we created this, then uh, and let's get right into the video. Yes. So we're looking a little bit rough right now, but you guys are going to come along with us as we get ready. We're going to talk about our life and um, have fun. And I'm going to do a look, um, looking kind of a look of um, like a sunset rose dusty kind of thing. Don't really know what to call it, but yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to do kind of like your Barbie glittery kind of hot pink look. So yeah, let's, start. let's get started. Oh. <laughs> Amateur over here. Okay. okay. It's hot up in this dam. <laughs> okay. So. So we're gonna start first with the face foundation. Yes, I'm going to use some of this um, Argan Oil Physicians Formula. Just kind of. Yeah. Oh yeah. That sparkle. It is a moisturizer. Would you like some? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you use your hands? Yeah, you use your hands. Awesome. This is what best friends are for. Exactly. It smells like Play Doh. You know what? <laughs> it looks pretty, but it doesn't mean it's always going to smell nice. So I got like the awkward angling and stuff and the like the lighting because it's getting dark out as It's I speak. getting darker and. Uh... And like, alright, so if I stand up, like. So. The standing up um, is weird because I'm a good six inches taller than her. Oh yeah, I'm I'm five foot three and you're uh, what I'm is five the... nine? So hmm. yeah. Okay, I'm taking this isn't my favorite foundation, but I'm gonna use it anyways. It's the Fit Me Maybelline Fit Me in the color latest uh, porcelain. One done. Um, I just don't like the stick form, and I broke it earlier, so. I'm using CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous in the shade Ivory 805. And I'm using a ton of this mm -hmm. just because... Can you use your mirror? Yeah. This mirror? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I use a ton of foundation because I want to hide everything on my face. <laughs> I don't uh, really I... have a lot of skin problems, but... I have, like, a lot of scarring right here, and I'm just ha apparently having, like, two breakouts right now. But... Yeah, um, I think that like it's lovely looking like a clown. The easiest to blend my foundation. <laughs> what did I you just drop this? No, no, not the Jeffree Star. I feel like it's the easiest to blend a stick out with a damp beauty blender. So, yeah, let's talk about our life. So, today we went to. A local store that a lot of people might know of. Yeah, it's Walmart. Walmart. And we decided we wanted to get some lovely eyelashes for today. And the thing is, is that apparently the eyelashes are on maximum security. security yeah. Because I don't think this moisturizer was a good idea, honestly. Why? Because it's not really helping my... Uh, you know what? It's going to look scary before it looks amazing. That's so true. Yeah, so it was on Mexican security pretty much. We had to like go and ask... We had to ask the guy if... The associate for assistance. Because it was locked up in this tight little locking key, so you can't take any of the eyelashes out. You can't touch them. And then finally I get some guy to come over. He had to be buzzed over because he wasn't actually anywhere near the beauty department. And we get over there, and he has to go and <laughs> take it out for us. And he's like, so, are you guys going to cash out? Yeah, he's like, are you guys ready to cash out? And we're like, uh, yeah, sure. So he starts walking away, and we're following him. And he cannot like get he will us not give us like the any the eyelashes. Uh, yeah. So then we get to the register and he just hands it over to her. We did not have any contact with those eyelashes until they're until they for. were paid for in the bag out the door. Um You know, they do this because people go in there and they shoplift and they take mm -hmm. 
the eyelashes either out of the packaging or they just stick it down in their purse. I don't know, I don't shoplift. <laughs> but apparently there's an easy way to steal eyelashes at Walmart. Mm -hmm. So, in my opinion, I think that's a little ridiculous. I mean, they were treating it like we were stealing from a bank. We were taking money from a bank like, whoa, <laughs> you need a pin number and a code and <laughs> like, no. It's just, what do you think? Do you think that that's ridiculous? I mean, yeah. That looks good. Uh, mm. You're welcome. <laughs> I just said that really weird. <laughs> I know. It's all good. Okay, so now I'm going to take some concealer. I just said that was so weird. What else do we have to talk about? Okay, so let's talk about the reasons why we want to make this channel. Okay, so hold on before you say anything. Uh, this is one of my favorite concealers. Um, it's the LA Colors Conceal It. This is all, it's really light. It's in the color light, and I'm pretty sure it's the lightest one. So I just go like under here. I'm just starting up uh, putting on more foundation. <laughs> I like to be a cake face. I know, but like that foundation, I just don't like the stick part of it. Like I like the actual, uh -huh. like the regular liquid one. We're just gonna kind of conceal. I don't usually. Bit. I don't like stick foundations because they make my skin greasy. Mhm. Mm and I already have like. I don't know. Okay. Oh. I don't have oily skin. I have oh, like. Oh, I do. I do, girlfriend. I have oily eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the reason why we want to make this channel. Yeah. So, we've actually tried, like, so many times. We've tried this years and years and years and years. Um, but the thing is, is that YouTube is crazy because it's actually being able to, um... Can we express yourself? I don't know if that's Express, what you're yeah. <laughs> it's because YouTube provides, um... It's a community, and, you know... You get people from all around the world sharing their beauty tips, their ideas on products, um, their makeup looks, and how to do that. And I just think that that... That's really nice! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the Aerospun Loose Setting Powder and the color Translucent. Oh, I didn't say what I was doing. Whoops. I'm taking this Powder Cover Girl Advanced Radiance in Ivory. And I'm just putting it everywhere. I like this powder a lot because it it provides like okay. I've had powders in the past, like press on powders that don't do anything. They don't look like anything. They don't cover anything. I think you could definitely use this as like just a normal foundation if you just wanted to, you know, maybe conceal some blemishes and that be it. And this like just really covers anything else that I have. It adds like a nice smooth matte look to my face. Mm -hmm. And I know that I do my makeup in a strange arrangement. <laughs> well that's just me. Next I'm going to add bronzer. Yeah bronzer kind of contour. I do the same thing because I kind of like how my cheekbones are. And I don't feel like I need to like really make them stick out anymore and I'm using Physician's Formula Bronzer Booster. This stuff is really good. And it's really pigmented, so it's easy to overdo it. Okay, anyways, so we have tried to like make a YouTube channel for forever and like we've made it and deleted it and just but we're so passionate about this right now. We just, we've been passionate about it for a long time, but I think that, like, this is just, like, the point in our life where we're, like, just really, like, it's time. Like, it's, we're at a perfect point in our life where we feel like we can and are going to. I mean, might as well. You only get to live once. Mm-hmm. Might as well do something worth living. literally our passion, but obviously this channel isn't going to be, like... It's not just going to be makeup. makeup. I need to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen. 
My best friend, everyone. <laughs> I need to sneeze. It's not... I don't have it. What do you need? Okay, so usually I don't have it with me, but I'll just use this. Okay, so then I just take powder and I like bake, but not really. It's not really for baking purposes. I put it like right under my eye. Um, It's like for when I do um, my eyeshadow, so it'll... It catches the product instead of smudging on my foundation. Nice. I don't do that because <laughs> I don't have any um, loose oh. powder. Oh, loose powder. No, I have fallout. I, just, <laughs> I take care of it the normal way. I just <laughs> kind of brush it away. And if that doesn't work, we put another layer of foundation over it. Okay. So, um, after I get done with the whole contour, you can do that all over your bed. I, I also forgot to go and put on my, um, blush. So I'm using, um, the Love Flush Too Faced Long Lasting 16 Hour Aww. Blush Set. Um, and the mirror is cracked. Would you like to use one? I have that. I wanted to see if I had one oh. of the colors. I have two of them. I usually use um, Justify My Love because it's this really nice pink color. And I'm really okay. pale. It is not time for my eyeshadow. Pick out some handy dandy brushes. And I don't have tissues or anything for me. And I don't really feel like going to get them. So I'm just gonna... I always just like take it and just like get the product that I use the day before off, which I feel like I should probably do that at the end of each time <laughs> I do my makeup, but I never do. So I kind of blend the, um, the bronzer and the blush right around this area so that it's all conformed and it isn't like suddenly going from brown to pink because <laughs> nobody likes that. Nobody wants to be a Neapolitan ice cream, y'all. Yeah, I know. And then... Guys, this is... Look at this. Are you kidding me? And then I'm gonna go back into the bronzer booster palette thing. I don't know what you call this. And put my... Use this lightest color right here, this lovely white, to highlight all over my face. Um, I like a lot of highlighter. I like to glow. And this product is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to take the, this is the Morphe 35O palette. If you guys couldn't tell, I really hate it and I never ever use it. <laughs> is that so. sarcasm? Because it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was sarcasm. Yes, my dudes. Okay, so I'm just going to use this for a mirror. Blinding. I love it so much. I'm just taking um, a white color, and you can use like powder, whatever your little heart desires, to smoothen everything out. What like else should we talk about? Um, um, so we're right now on our semester break. Yeah, we're both in college. We're college students. I'm a fashion design major. I'm an elementary education major. You made me thinking, why would you be doing makeup if you're an elementary ed major? Hmm. No, no. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take. Oh, I this is a, the brush I used was the Morphe M441 brush. Now I'm gonna use the Morphe M330 brush. So, um, for the last part of my face, I'm actually going to use the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic palette. It is one of my favorites because it these colors can truly um, change a look entirely. You can put it over dark eyeshadows and make them a completely new color. But I'm just going to take the color Pink Opal and put it where um, my highlighter is to make kind of like a, a cheek topper, blush, shiny pink thing because I'm going to be doing a lot of pink in my makeup. Okay, so I'm just going to take this color as just like a nice transition shade. I'll just open oh, this real quick. So, let's see, we should do a story time. Ooh. Okay, um. <laughs> I 
Do you think I should do my lips last? I would. Okay. Um, okay, so there's this story. There's this story. That's a great way to start it. Of us. I'm just taking that same transition sheet back and forth in my crease. And before I... What are you looking for? I'm looking for the primer. I put it in my bag and it's gone. Oh, here's a primer. It's not the one I wanted. Okay, so now I'm going to take this color right here. Um, yeah, so there's a story of us um, when we were on summer break. Right, so we're, I'm just putting this right in the crease as well. Yeah, so I'm going to use the um, Please Don't Go Bliss eyeshadow primer stick. Um, it's just in the normal color. It's a little bit darker than my actual skin tone, but that's fine. It does what it needs to do. It makes the colors of the eyeshadow a lot more brighter in my opinion, and it stays on my face all day. But yeah, the story. So that's what this looks like so far. Um, yeah, so we decided we wanted to go to the beach. Oh no. <laughs> now, the thing that you have to keep in mind is that, um, the beaches around us, they kind of like, we don't close down. So, okay, so basically, we're, we live in like the middle of nowhere. So like, it takes, literally, it takes about half an hour to drive anywhere. And so we decided we were going to go to this new beach. We had never heard of it and it was two and a half hours away. We were like, yeah, nice. You know, two best friends just going on a nice road trip. First road trip ever. Oh yeah. And, um, so basically for my, um, eye look, I'm gonna get really close to the camera so that you can see my eyes. But I'm going to be using Jeffree Star's Beauty Killer palette. It was his first ever palette and I love it. It's my favorite. I use it a lot. Um, and I'm going to be using Princess, this soft pink color, for the just normal lid color, whatever. And then I'm going to be using Star Power, this bright hot pink on my crease, because this makeup look is very bold, but it's actually something that anybody can do with any sort of um, skill level for makeup. Alright, see, so yeah, I'm just blending that color out okay okay anyways so we decided so like i hate driving on any type of highway just because i'm not used to it because we live in such a small town and i decided so you know we were you know we were on our way we were good we were literally probably 10 minutes from the beach and also i switched back to the um forever one brush just to blend it out so I just, we decided, um, oh, so we went and we were in the middle of, and my, like, car starts dinging. We were, like, just got off of a, the highway. And we had, we had been driving for, for two and a half hours. Two hours. We were tired. I mean, exhausted. She was exhausted. <laughs> I was just kind of sitting there. And, um, you know, we are literally... The GPS tells us we're 10 minutes from this mm -hmm. beach, okay? And my car starts dinging. Like, ding, ding, dinging. And I looked down, and it's red. And I was like, oh, my God. And, like, it's red. My temperature gauge was all the way up. So I called my dad, and I was like, Dad, like, what do I do? And he told me not to go anywhere. So that we literally, my grandma literally had to come and save us. She traveled for two yeah, hours. For, yeah, to come in and save us. And not to mention, this was one of the prettiest days of the year during the summertime mm -hmm. and it was hotter it was so it was hotter than 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 it usually well it was hotter than what it usually is in the yeah in the and so we're like i have a black car and we're sitting in my black car and i can't turn it on because my and temperature gauge is all the way up you don't want it to like overheat, overheat. i mean it already was overheated but it was already overheated it was not a good situation everybody there was like People driving by were by just kind of looking, like looking, wondering what was going on, but nobody offered to help. No. Nobody was like, oh, well, maybe those two need help. Yeah. Nope. So now I'm taking this color right here, and I'm just putting that everywhere. I know this looks wicked, wicked messy, but it's, it'll be okay. No, you know what? It's okay, because some everything looks scary, and then slowly it gets better. Mm -hmm. That's how my makeup is. Um, 
it looks scary at first, but uh, after a lot of blending and um, eyelashes and eyeliner, a lot of stuff can uh, can can be fixed. <laughs> yes, where am I? So I switched brushes again to the four four one. So I'm four four one, and now I'm going to. Bring, okay, take this color. Okay, I can't see. Where are we? This color right here. It's like this nice warm reddish color. And I'm going like right on my outer corner. And then I do bring it in a little bit. So I'm just going to be back here. Yeah, I just now me, I'm color. going back and forth on my crease with this color and I'm just making it very high intensity and it's okay if this is messy right now if it gets in the lid because it's actually, it's, it's a surprise makeup look because what we do is going to make it look absolutely amazing. It's not going to look messy like it does right now. Mm -hmm. What else to talk about? The light. Mm, let's talk about maybe like I don't know. You're doing all those fancy colors, and then I'm just over here like mm -hmm. pink and pink. I absolutely love pink. Is my favorite color, hot pink specifically. Okay, so now this look is going to be completely transformed. Where is it? No, I don't know. I lost my brush, y'all. Oh, oh, I found it. I think. Maybe not. Nope. Um. Oh, yes, I did. To find it. Going back to this brush. This is the four four one. I'm gonna have most of the camera for a bit. I guess we haven't really um, explained a lot about who we are. <laughs> yeah. And I think that we should probably do that. Yeah, probably. Do you want to start out? Um, maybe. I just have to look for. Oh, there. Oh, no. oh, wrong color. I do that a little bit. Sorry, hold on. It's all good. Okay, so about us. Hmm. So there's a lot of thing, uh, a lot of things that you don't know about us because we're two completely um, weird people on the internet just posting videos. But <laughs> my name is Marky, and known as M. M. Yes. My name is Kayla. Known as K. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here's how we're gonna transform my pink mess on my face. Um, so I'm going to put glitter all over here. So actually it didn't matter what color I put down on my lid, but I wanted that light pink because if any of the glitter, you know, has like a little patchy space in it, the eyeshadow below will create an illusion like my entire lid is full of glitter. So I'm using the NYX Glitter Glue Primer, Glitter Primer, yeah. And, you know, just the tiniest amount, just the tiniest little two dots. And then you just go ahead and you put it where you need to. I'm putting it all over my lid. This stuff is powerful but dries quick, so I have to act a little bit quickly. And then I'm going to go in with this random fluffy brush, really fluffy, and get the glitter of my choice, which is, um... A nice holographic glitter and how I do this without getting it all over my face as I look down why I do this guys I'm literally and, doing the yeah. same thing pretty much but with a different kind yeah I'm glitter. using like the next that's my piece yeah I was like glitter 
We should oh, be glitter babes. Oh my goodness. Like this. Now it is very easily to go out of control with glitter. Just but pat this all the way to my crease. But glitter is really forgiving because it's so shiny. Um, it'll look nice even if it's kind of messy because it's it's glitter. Oh yeah. I'm just kind of brushing it away with my finger. I'm gonna use this as the Ulta Beauty face and glitter. Do we have a color on here? In the color sunset. Yeah. Um, I decided to use. Thank you, Marky, for letting me yeah. use this. G L I O six glyph. I think that means glyph or glitter. <clears throat> um, and it's just this really amazing, sparkly holographic glitter. It's my favorite because the holographic part of it captures every single color in the world imaginable. <laughs> so before I, I do anything else, basically eyeshadow, all that is completely done for me. All I need left is the eyelashes. It takes me forever to do anything with my life. So I'm just applying this all over the lid, all the way up just about to my crease. Does that look good? Yeah, that's really yeah, pretty. Really. Can I use a mirror? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to turn the lighting up? Yeah. Okay. So I can't see anything. Okay. Okay, so I, I'm using two different mascaras because I'm running out of mascara. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to put on false lashes. And in my opinion, my eyelashes don't really stick out when I put on false eyelashes. So I'm not really worried about it. But I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast, Lash, Bl Lash Blast Volume, that's our favorite yes. drugstore mascara ever. And um, L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original. I usually put on this orange one first because it's, um, it does the, uh, I don't know, it just does the trick. does the trick, yeah. This one kind of like hardens and everything and it's hard to put on when your eyelashes have mascara on already. But the voluminous mascara actually um, softens the eyelashes even when there's a different eyelash and mascara on. Yes, I love that. It looks so good. I know. It's gonna look crazy before it looks Just amazing. It okay, so now I'm gonna take. This is a BH a BH Cosmetics brush I got it for Christmas, and I'm just gonna wave that away. So, as we already stated earlier, we're college students, okay? We live off of whatever income we make, so what we use might not be the most amazing, perfect products ever, but we make it work. Mm -hmm. we do. So, I'm going to take the Revlon Colorstay, I think that's what it is, yeah, eyeliner, and I'm going to line my... That's called your tight line, right? Yeah. yeah my up tight line. Yeah. I always do my bottom eyelashes because you need to give them some attention. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they, gosh. They need to be seen. Um, I guess we kind of told you guys, like, a little bit about ourselves, but we've been best friends for 15 years. Oh, yeah. We went to high school together. Yeah, we've been best friends since we were five. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm the weirdo. <laughs> oh, I'm using better than sex. That's your <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> she is like the semi-normal, she's not really normal, but <laughs> more normal than I am. I'm the weirdo, and I'm okay with that. You need to embrace who you are. Okay, so now that I got that done, I'm going to... Put on some bold eyeliner, um, liquid eyeliner, Revlon Color Stay in the shade black or whatever because it's black. Um, and it's a felt tip liner, which makes it a lot easy 
a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah, I know what I'm um, talking about. So, alright, a lot of times I don't put um, fake eyelashes on because I have really long eyelashes anyways. But I decided that I'm going to today. These are the Kiss lashes and Page Boy. My dog keeps whining, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take... Your dog wants attention. Take some lash glue. Yeah. And then just apply the lash glue. Fun fact. Oh boy. So, <laughs> okay, so like you have to like let it dry for a few minutes because you can, if you put it right on, it's just gonna. It's gonna fall back off yeah. again. So. I like ripped off a bunch of my eyelashes when I was in it's probably in 11th grade and um so then I started using fake eyelashes because I didn't want it to be like a bald spot and it'd be really really weird and then I got Marky into oh, yeah surprisingly um, I was yeah. I always wanted to do eyelashes but my makeup story is a bit different than hers um growing up you know my mom um go ahead and apply these <laughs> My mom was very into, you know, supporting me um, in whatever I wanted to do with my life or any kind of, you know, decisions she was very supportive on, like, what kind of stuff I wanted to wear at school and everything. The only thing she got very upset over was usually um, wearing a lot of makeup. You know, when I was younger, she believed that I shouldn't be wearing such crazy bold makeup so, at such a young age. Yeah, at such a young age. So basically, for me, um, uh, she did not have, she didn't allow me to wear um, any makeup until I was in seventh grade, and I was only allowed to do mascara and under eyeliner. And the thing about that is that at the time, okay, that was not the thing. Yeah, everybody wanted. Winged eyeliners. When winged eyeliner was a thing, and it, I mean it still is, but it, this was it the was beginning, like the, the big, beginning of the when thing. winged eyeliner oh, the big thing. was the you know the bomb. Okay. The bomb. <laughs> oh, that's my Where did you put them? You just bought them too. There they are. There they are. So what I would do is I would take that bottom eyeliner and I would go all the way and flick it up over here <laughs> so that I could have. A winged liner, <laughs> unfortunately. Beard cosmetics brush again. Oh, can I get behind you? Yeah. Now, what I do with my winged eyeliner, <laughs> that's a little different than oh. what a lot of people do, is I take the, the edge and I just kind of drag it down here like this, kind of like an anime girl type thing. Um, now I'm gonna actually fix it and clean it up and make it look cool. Ooh. It's just something to do to make your eyes look bigger. Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm just using the same stuff that I'm using. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I look like a look like a doll. That's always the uh, the objective. I just use like a little bit because I just well I use like a tiny bit, guys. And you see like how like some people are at those. Okay, I'm gonna use my very favorite um, eyelashes. They are the brand Eyelure Cosmetics London. And the multi-pack exaggerate number 145. Look how amazing these are. They are my absolute favorite. Um, I wouldn't be able to survive without them. I buy them so much. They better never like discontinue them. Yeah. If they discontinue them, oh, there's eyelash glue. Okay. I will be so upset. So I just put that all over my face, but now I'm just gonna blend it out so it's not like looking too awful. Okay, and for me, I'm using um, eyelash glue duo in this nice green package. Now, the reason I use this, I use this yeah, <laughs> the reason I use this is because most eyelash glues contain um, formaldehyde, which is a chemical 
used to preserve dead bodies. <laughs> um, it also is known to cause cancer and it's not good to have that in your body. So this is this does not contain formaldehyde. Um, of course, it's in very small traces, so you shouldn't be too worried. It's just me. Like, in general, it bothers me. Okay, so I'm just using Marky's palette, the Too Faced... Flush uh, Blush. Well, well Flush Long Lasting Sustain, or the other palette thing. And I used the color Low Hangover, which is the color that I have. Not with me, but it's back as well. I didn't. I, I miss it dearly. I took all of my makeup home. I was oh, like, I'm lock. probably going to. I have too much makeup to bring back and forth. So much. I have like plenty here. Now, when I show you guys these eyelashes, it's really gonna make the look. Oh yeah, I don't even think that they can see them. We're losing so much light. Oh, I know. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the same highlighter that Marky has because because it's, it's great. a good highlighter and just right there and I'm just taking a tiny tiny bit because I don't want it to be too light too glowy that would be glowy but I don't want it to be like too overpowering mm -hmm. me over here where I want it to be super overpowering I want people from outer space to see me I, I like now. really, really bold with crazy makeup, and that's just me. And now I just kind of bring it there and there. And I'm just going to take a big, big fluffy brush. And there we go, y'all. I'm just going to take, this is Marky's again, <laughs> and I'm just going to line just to cover up. Oh, eyelashes really transform the look, in my opinion. I agree. Let's pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> now you can add mascara to blend your little eyelashes in with these huge fake ones, but I'm not gonna because I break the rules of makeup sometimes. And I kind of went too crazy with my eyeliner, so I'm actually going to go in with like a tiny bit of, of um, some foundation. And I'm just going to take some mascara and, oh goodness, blend that in, do some bottom, do the top again. This is actually a great way to, to blend it all the way out. Oh yeah. I think that looks great. And you know, bottom again. There we go. Um. Oh, one of his peaches. I don't know if the camera got that. Uh uh. I'm all done. Are you gonna put on any lipstick? I don't have it with me. Oh, you can go get some. That's true. I'm gonna go get some, guys. Okay. Now, for me, lipstick. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Lipstick is um, a big part of anything that I do when it comes to makeup. I always like bold lips, whether I have a bold look or a normal look. So, today, I think I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go with the Mega Last Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit um, in the shade Oh My Dolly, and I really absolutely love this color. It's a bright hot pink, so I'll just do that in this position so you can see what I'm doing. I just start at the top lip. I it so that it's um is a shape I want. 
and yeah I say never be afraid to do bold makeup looks never all right it doesn't matter what people you know think of you okay this is your life your story and if you want to wear bold makeup then do so yeah I wear a lot of bold makeup some people might like it some people might not and you know I had a I had a friend that was like oh you look better without so much makeup and it's like well thank you for your opinion but um this is me this is what I like doing so this is the finished look so yeah if you like this and you like us two weirdos then uh hit the subscribe button and the bell besides it so that you're notified every time we uh have a new video mm -hmm. and uh give Just us a like, like button. oh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and comment down below other videos that you would like to see us do we will do crazy stuff for you too bye bye my lashes falling <laughs> off oh yeah i have two different colored eyes by the way guys bye hey guys it's um, why is we keep doing that sorry Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Woo! Hey guys, it's MNK Beauty here, and we just created a get ready with me, and we created these looks.